Hello, Chef here, and I've got these awesome tomatoes. These are heirlooms. You've seen these before, I'm sure. So we grew these in one of the gardens, and I, I wanted to see if you know the difference between the tomatoes here. Number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in the comments section, please tell us what you think. Uh, what variety are these right here? Okay. Also, uh, one of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one of them came from the store. So which one do you think came from the store? Uh, quick bonus for you here. I uh, picked some of this basil. I wanted to share this with you. This is just a little bit of gardening facts and, and food facts. So this right here is flowering basil. Uh, it starts to get little white flowers on it right before it goes to seed. And it tastes really, really good. You can see the flowers on there. All right. All you do is just give it a little pull like this and remove any uh, tough stems out of there that you can. So you don't want to eat the stems, but the rest of it's good to go. Pull these stems out like this. This is going to be really good. A quick bruschetta tomato. So once I remove the stems, all this gets chopped up. Also, this right here, completely edible. That's just a basil leaf that's starting to dry. Still has great flavor. That'll get chopped up too. So some of the basil leaves uh, gets cooler at night, you know, things like that, but they just, uh, lack of water, they just start to dry. Uh, completely edible uh, basil leaves. So the coolest thing though is the, the flowers. Uh, this tastes really, really good and it uh, stops the basil from going to seed by removing these. Actually it has almost the same taste as the leaf. Really, really close once you chop it all up. So that's it. Uh, please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Which tomato was from the store?